a gas is compressed in an adiabatic process. Does its internal energy increase or decrease? Does its temperature go up or down? There are different ways to answer the questions. One way is to look at the PV diagram. I have here two isothermal curves. And we know that the adiabatic curve is steeper than an isothermal one. So let's say it can be like this, steeper than the isothermal curve. And because the gas is compressed, it goes that way. So it follows the curve starting here and then there. So it starts at the lower temperature isothermal curve and the ends on a higher temperature. So the temperature goes up. And that means the internal energy increases. Or we can use the, the first law. Delta U equals to Q plus W. And Q is the heat added to the gas and the work is the work done on the gas. If we're compressing the gas, that means uh, the volume of the gas uh, decreases. That means the work done on the gas should be positive. And because it's an adiabatic process, that means the Q is uh, zero. The work being positive means uh, delta U must be positive. That means U increases and the temperature increases. If the internal energy of the gas increases by 50 joules in this adiabatic compression, how much heat is added to the gas? How much work is done by the gas? C. This is an adiabatic process, so by definition, there is no heat exchange. Q is zero. Part D. We want the work done by the gas. We can use the first law. Delta U is Q plus W. And this is the W, the work done on the gas. And the Q is zero. Delta U, the internal energy increases by 50 joules. Since the internal energy increases, delta U is positive. And it's positive 50 joules. And that is the work done on the gas, which means uh, the work done by the gas would be negative 50 joules.